Hey guys, Dewey from Events About Here. What we're going to go through now is the um, hothead assembly for the Events About. Uh, the first thing we have is a peak. This is actually Teflon, but we're actually upgrading it to peak. Uh, peak 2, which is uh, 60 millimeters in height. Uh, the hose connector, and this is a MK7 hothead. Uh, if you do a search for it, uh, there should be no problem finding it. <clears throat> Alright, so for our peak, what we have, let's say this is the peak here. This is not working. Use one of these. Uh, let's say we have a peak, the peak here. Peak tube. You guys can see that? Okay. Now, the peak tube, the outside diameter is actually 5 eighths inch outside diameter. The inside diameter is going to be a quarter inch inside diameter. And the total height of the peak itself is 60 millimeters. So as of right now we have a peak. This is the peak here. So as of right now, we have a peak tube that is 5 eighths outside diameter. Inside diameter is a quarter inch. And um, the height of it is 60 millimeters. Uh, we have our, let's say this is our hose connector. Sorry, I'm not that good at drawing. Hose connector. And this is our MK7 hothead. something like that MK7 hothead um, what we're gonna have to do is tap this portion of up here for the hose connector and tap this portion down here for the MK7 hothead uh, for this portion what I did was I drilled the diameter for it this is actually a 10 millimeter thread 10 millimeter thread so what I did was um, tap this portion here down um, 10 millimeters we went 10 millimeters down and tapped it that way the holes connected could screw right into the peak this is 10 millimeters down or let's say deep and same thing with this uh, I also went 10 millimeters up 10 millimeters up. Um, it's actually a 3 8 tap because this right here is a 3 8 thread. This here is actually a 3 8 tap that I did. Uh, so this way, this could screw up like this, and this hose connector could be like this. Um, on the inside, so we have a quarter inch inside diameter here. On the inside, what we're going to use is um, a Teflon tube that the outside diameter is going to be a quarter inch outside diameter is a quarter inch and the inside diameter is actually one eighth of an inch which is about 3.175 millimeters I believe um, so we're using um, 3 millimeter filament so we have 3.175 uh, millimeter channel that the filament will feed through. Uh, if you wanted to use a 1.75 millimeter, just get a Teflon tube that is around maybe two millimeters in that uh, inside diameter uh, radius or diameter. The inside diameter should be about two millimeters for 1.75 millimeter filament, but. Uh, as of right now, we're doing three millimeters, so we're using a one eighth inside diameter Teflon tube. So this Teflon tube is actually going to go inside of. It starts about right here, just right under the right when you screw be, right when you screw the hose connector in. It's going to start probably about right here, and it's actually going to go down all the way, almost to the tip of this. Um, MK7 hothead. 
Teflon tube actually goes down inside of this. That way it keeps everything nice and clean. Um, the filament doesn't stick to the Teflon tube and it could withstand high heat. So that's what the Teflon tube is there for. Um, this, I hope you guys could, you know, have a better view of what the hot head assembly is with this diagram. I know it's not the best. I'm not the best person at describing things. But uh, I'm going to try to put up an SKP file with all the diagram and how it assembles. That way you guys could just take everything apart and understand how it works better.